All right, I've got a 385 John Deere round baler. And I've had a little problems with the knives cutting the string. And I'll show you a little what I've learned. I had still had some issues, but uh, I'll show you what I've learned. On the front here where your twine's at, there's a little bitty, oh, I'll have to get under here to show what I think. Ah. There's a little bitty thing here. There's your twine comes in this little box. This thing comes down when it gets tight. When the, when the, when the two arms, here's your two arms. When these arms, when these two arms come forward, they're double twine. One comes from one side, one comes from the other. There's an adjustment here, so this hits. When this comes forward, which spring loads this thing and drops this thing, this little knife blade down. And when it comes down, it lays a string there. This is the problem. This got bent. See this bar that comes off the side of the, the baler? You see what the twine's always running here? If you don't have that set just right, what the problem is, is if it's not out far enough this way, towards, if it's not far enough this way, or if it's too far to the right, or if it's too high, your arms, your twine arms, when they come through, hit the, hit the bar back there. And the only purpose of this little bar is to keep your twine so that it comes right in the right slot to be cut. So I've had, it got bent and it wasn't bringing the twine over far enough. So I've manipulated it and walled it around a little bit and pulled it back. It has to go back at an angle. You don't want it close to the arms when they come through. Because <sighs> it won't put the string where you want it. The string should be tight like this, when it, when it holds it over, it should be tight and the string should come through like right there. Well, see how this one string's coming over here. It should be over, if you can see or not. It should be over far enough. If it's not over far enough, when it comes down and closes that to cut the string, you see I'm missing one string. The one string's off to the side. That's the problem. So I've had to do some manipulation to it and uh, that bar in the back there is what really helps you to get it straight. So I just took a, a wrench, I think it was 13 16th or something, and boxed in and put on there and used it to uh, pure brute force and just bend it to where it needed to be to get it in line. Hope that helps somebody that gets in trouble.